Adding a table of contents is something that for some reason I always found very confusing, but finally I've got it down. So you start by creating your entire document first. So you'll see I have a proposal draft here. And then you use the different heading options as signposts. So you'll see here for these main headings, I've used heading two over here. And for subheadings, you can find a subheading. I have used heading three. So this just lets us know how this is divided. And then I've left space here for my table of contents. We're then going to go to references. You'll see table of contents, click the little arrow here and let's go with the classic one. There are a few different options. And now it will automatically divide our document into the different sections. So you can see my research question, rationale, literature review, with the different sections of the literature review, theoretical framework and methodology. And it's automatically numbered the pages for you so you know exactly where to find these. And if you click on that, it will redirect you to where the research question is. Then perhaps we want to add an index. If you go to the bottom, you can click insert index. You can choose an index from template, fancy, <laughs> classic, modern. Maybe we'll do classic so we match our other one. And I'm going to click OK. There are no index entries found because I haven't used an index in any form here, but that is how you would insert it. If we navigate to docs, you have fewer options in terms of your table of content and indices, but you can insert a table of contents by clicking on insert and then table of contents. And so we can click here course I've put it in a silly position I should have put it before but you can see how it's nicely broken this down into the different sections and so that is how you will add a table of contents on docs